What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to quickly share with you how I managed to fix the overheating problem of my old graphics card by changing its cooling solution completely. And even though this may not be a very interesting topic to make a video about, I still hope that at least some of you with an overheating graphics card or a blower style GPU finds this video helpful. The graphics card that I had before getting the dual fan GTX 970 from MSI was a blower style GTX 760, by the way, also from MSI, and it always ran very loud and hot, sometimes to the point that it would throttle. I tried adding more fans in my case and even recently replaced the thermal paste on it like 10 different times with no success of lowering the temperatures much. So I said, screw it and got the GTX 970 because I just couldn't get that card to run any lower than 90 degrees Celsius, even at 100% fan speed. The graphics card was still working fine though, and I didn't really want to leave it that way. So what I decided to do was search for a dead GTX 760 with a better cooling solution that I can use to replace the blower style cooler on my GTX 760, which is what I did as you can see over here. But it wasn't really as easy as I thought it would be. The Donner graphics card is an Asus GTX 760 Direct CU2, which I got for around $30. I tore down both graphics cards, cleaned everything up, and the first problem that I encountered was the power plugs on my GTX 760 were hitting the heatsink. Clearance issues are unfortunately inevitable, especially if you're combining parts from two different manufacturers, so I had no other choice but to cut a small portion of the heatsink. Yes, I know it looks ugly, but it's not something that you're going to be seeing frequently, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Next problem that I had was with the VRM heatsink. The one that was used in my graphics card was way too big, so I decided to get a smaller aftermarket heatsink and thermal pads from AliExpress, and after around three weeks, they finally arrived, and I installed them. <music> Finally, after applying some thermal paste and screwing everything back together, it was time to check the temperatures. Unfortunately, I didn't record the results with the old cooler, so I cannot show you the temperature difference, but I can tell you for sure that I would always get at least 90 degrees Celsius or higher in pretty much any title, even while using lowest quality settings at 720p resolution. I'm not even kidding. Whereas with the replacement cooler, we can see that the temps are just below 70 degrees, while playing Battlefield 5. In Apex Legends, on the other hand, we can see that the temperature is even lower, and after playing the game for around 15 minutes, I never got any higher than 65 degrees Celsius. By the way, after all this, I will probably never buy a blower style graphics card ever again for my personal rig, and I wouldn't really recommend you getting one either. So there you have it guys, if you have a blower style cooler and your graphics card is overheating no matter what you do, this seems to be the only choice to fix a problem like that, and I feel like it is totally worth it if you want to extend the lifetime of a still working graphics card. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.